I need to store crap or sell it. I'm. It says this is getting out of control. All right, but I need to complete the thing. I need to complete the thing. Dang it, we're gonna do that. It's so easy to get distracted. <laughs> This. We took out the. Oh, I left Roach over there. Hope you don't mind, Roach. Hope you're doing alright. My buddy, old pal, old friend. Do we. We don't have insectoid oil on anymore, so let's. Oh, now you put the insectoid oil in the back. Okay. Oh, and um, we could put our new silver sword could use uh, something. Chance to stun, bleeding, sign intensity, sign intensity, stagger. Oh, what's that? Whoa! Greater Dazbog runestone. It's worth 600. I don't know if I want to, I mean, this sword is gray. I don't know if I want to put anything on it, though. I with that. Because, uh, it might be getting a really cool sword after this. But who, kn who knows at this point. Like, it might actually, I don't think, I think it'll be okay. Because I think you got to be like, I think it wanted you to be like level 23 or something, I thought. But... Maybe not. There's something out there. That's kind of different. Oh. Oh. Book is burned only a few pages still intact. Yivis. Oh no, I'm not gonna be able to say that. Hmm, it's Anog Noog Mab Mork, which pretty sure this is all Elven. If it was Dragon Age, I might be able to translate some of it, but when this I assume is Elaine Eteriel, I assume, is a name. Oh, it repeats itself. And I assume Yavis is a name, perhaps the lover of the person who is dead in here, the skeleton. I wonder if the letters in the beginning are supposed to spell something like going down. Hmm. Oh, wait. Dang it. Uh. No, books. Crafting notes. We did that. What about. Was there, was there something else? No? Yikes! Ooh, that got devoured. I wonder if that guy, I think this guy probably died of like starvation or something. Being kept in there. What are these candles? Hmm. Well, this was obviously not the fun place in the castle to be. Wow, this is a whole castle though. Jeez. How long do the elves live in this game? Are they like as long lived as like Lord of the Rings ones? Or is it like Dragon Age where they don't live very long but they used to? Or do they just not live? Maybe they just live a little bit longer but not much longer. Uh, Harpy. I think I still have aired on. Trying to get that one. Oh no, they're swarming me. I thought I was gonna be fighting insectoids, but apparently not. Oh, I lit her on fire. How fantastic. Yikes.
Whoa, no, Gerald, I'm gonna kill you. Like, wait, whoa, what? Where? Oh, there you are. Whew. They look awesome with these gold boots on. Harpies got their nest here. Yeah, they do. They surely do. If I take too long, they will come back. Tissue. Excellent. I saw you in there. Oh, cool. Thanks. In like the, I don't know, waste bucket. Oh. Witcher George's Confession. Cross, a magic crossbow. Ball sticks. Or. Ah, the undersigned George of King and Witcher by Trade testify as follows. While traveling through Velen, I received the summons to provide professional testimony in the matter of the accursed Bartslav of Lovefield. This Bartslav stands accused of causing several shipwrecks near the lighthouse, which is his duty to keep. Ships led astray by errant signals from his lighthouse have repeatedly smashed against the rocks near the shore, and the lighthouse keeper is held to be responsible for the state of affairs. During the trial, Kest Bartslav testified that he was diligent in the fulfillment of his duties, and that the accidents were caused by night race deceiving sailors with false glow. Uh, found no activity of night wraiths, no noon wraiths, blah, blah blah, no specters. However, I did find the cat. I however did, however, find the catastrophe's true cause. These were not the fault of night wraiths, the night wraiths blamed by the accused, but neither were they the fault of the a night lighthouse keeper himself. The accidents were caused by local hooligans who have taken to lighting fires on the hill at night and then robbing the ships that subsequently arrived upon the shore. I was put on their trail by Bartslav's son, who showed me the ashes from their misleading fires. My testimony shows that the lighthouse keeper Bartslav of Bluffield is not guilty of the crimes for which he stands accused and should be freed. I also humbly ask for the bailiff to put the lighthouse keeper and family under protection, for in light of the revelations Bartslav's son led me to discover, there will certainly be parties with cause for vengeance. I cannot undertake the task of protecting the family myself, for I have accepted a contract to kill a dragon said to be lurking atop the Crookback Hills, and so must be that it return their post haste to kill the bees and complete my task. Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, is a beast that in the waist has the corpus of a man head of a dog. Uh, okay. May the gods smile upon you and me, sis. Now I'm asking you to read this careful, for what I got to say is important. Soon as you set hands on this writing, gallop off bleh, that fence, Kramer, what's based in Maribor. Tell him we've got some first-class gear and Witcher Sword diagrams to sell. I can see you now scratching your head, or more likely your arse. And asking, did I hear that right? You sure did. Twas my luck to come and care for a Witcher. Well, got one foot in the grave. I sat there looking at poor man suffer in agony. Thought to myself, he don't need this kit and those papers where he's going. While for us, there's fixings. Uh-huh, I hear you fretting some stuff. I didn't take everything. In fact, nobody ever realized... Anything's missy, sad though, ain't it? The witch is a good man. First he helped the baronet solve the riddle of that lighthouse that was sending ships into the rocks. Then he killed the dragon that ate all the peasants. Problem is, the dragon's no easy pickings, and our valiant hero got quite the licking taken out of him. He's done for, that's for certain, so as soon as they bury him in the tomb on the Crookback Hills, I'll head straight to your place. Come to think of it, I'm curious how they'll put him in that crypt at all, for word is a vampire has made it to his lair. Lifted a few flasks off the witcher, but since they're likely not to start the journey, I reckon I'll sample them myself. Hmm. Yep. I did that. Okay. Um. Yeah, that wasn't gonna work out well for him. If he drank Witcher brews. Yeah. He be dead. Okay, so that's that's not the Witcher. That's the guy. The Witcher is dead. 
Like, we saw his... I think he was entombed in that place, but... Well, this witcher, that witcher seemed like a good man. Oh. Lots of skeletons. So we can't... Can we not get up to the tippy top? Oh, for reals? Alright, looks like we can't get to the tippy top. want to go to Skellige, but I, I mean, like, I'm, like, in the middle of this, you know? And that feels like I really shouldn't just peace out on that, but oh my god, it's taking so long! Oh, right. Oh boy. Yeah, level 24, like, ha ha! I am not even that close. Practicum in advanced alchemy. Could do the white lady. Eh? Another haunted house. I want to meet a vampire. I want to go to Skellige. <laughs> hmm. I don't know. Okay, yeah, I forgot she was there, that yeah, Yennefer, I mean, I knew she was, but I didn't realize we're running it to talk to her, maybe. Ugh, I should finish this! Because I haven't found out if, new, if Ciri's in Novigrad yet, and I'm not supposed to go to Skellige until I have figured out that, you know, she's gone there, except it looks like... Oh, no, okay. But I really want to find more monsters, too. And look at that. Where's that at? Oh. Way out in the middle of nowhere. Holy crap. And then there's the... Oh, are the boots over there too? Oh no. Where are the boots? Wow, why are they so spread out everywhere? Holy crap. I mean, I mean, I don't know if I sh should even worry about it, you know? Oh, but I can use my magic crossbow. Wow, cool. Plus 145% attack power. I mean, finding the, the Witcher stuff is, is really useful. Like it can be. But look at that. Like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Ah! <laughs> There's so much to do. Okay, we did that. We're gonna do some main questing. I did okay, we're gonna we're gonna keep doing this one, I guess. Oh boy. It's just There's so much to do. Okay, I can drop down. Okay, I I'll have to drop down there to the the thing. I want to get more elven armor. Oh, buddy. That's some cool stuff. Run, Gerald. We don't have time. What? Oh, that's not okay. I hope I got everything. I wonder what that letter is all about, you know? Oh, 
Pepsi. I was like, what? Wolf's pain? I don't need no wolf's pain. High arc square. Alright. Alright. I want more elven armor. If we get why does the elven armor always look cooler? The Witcher gear looks pretty cool though too. Oh, I do have water. What am I doing with my life? I think, um, I think I couldn't find this herbalist person. Or like, they didn't actually have herbaly, herbaly stuff. Welcome. Well... What have you got there? Oh, they do. What do you have? Oh. Oh. Well, freaking gimme. <laughs> Can't sell anything to you. Okay. What's a so reliever's wrong. decoction? That's curious. Is there like just a merchant just hanging out in the middle of here? Ooh. Ah! 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 And I can't sell him, like, anything. I mean, I could sell him some of this crap. Oh, wait, no, I need that. And I need the talisman. Item needed to complete a quest. Chrome doll. Potion vial. I mean, maybe... Tamarian Lily Key, I'll keep it. Uh, sure. Mm, I might need that actually. Can he not? He can't take them all. All right. Well, I just made a bunch of money. Didn't make a whole heck of a lot of space, but that's okay. So long. Let's see. Ah! Sorry. Look all pretty suspicious. Uh... Swords. Thanks. Ah. Oh, hey, look at that. Master crafted armor. Think you could make me some? Ooh. I did get my journeyman's papers, but I've yet to make anything akin to a masterwork. You might try in Velen. A dwarf there goes by Fergus. He might help. Guildsmen claim there's no one better. I know. Show me what you have in stock. <coughs> Let's see. Ooh, hey, look. Oh. Oh. Parchment. Precision bolt. Armature repair kit. Fared in archer's game. Spiker rog. Okay. Wow, he has a lot of money. Mm, 
Yeah, I kind of wanted to keep that one and that one. Not that one. Not that one. Not those. Not those. Oh, and I can sell that. Yep, yep. Um. Oh, I've made a decent amount of space. Let's see. Take some crafting things. This kind of stuff, though, I think I use more. I don't know. But it won't. I guess the other stuff is just stuff I could really just sell, you know? could sell him these too. It only weighs one. I did make quite a bit of space selling a bunch of my junk items though. Oh. Oh. Oh well, that's kind of what I have already. Well, except this one's actually better. And so is that one. Salimen Brigade DDD in level 16. Assassin boots. I pick up a lot of cool stuff, so... I was like, shoot, I think I went the wrong way, but we can go around. Whoa. Yikes. Oh, can we not? Oh, wait, is this his house right here? Like, can't get in this way? Witch hunter. Okay, I was like, Witcher, what? What a dump. Looks more like a beggar's hovel than a Margrave's townhouse. And Elia made some interesting friends. Man. his house using my witcher senses but how do I get in oh there we go don't mind me oh footprints yes I can see that Gerald you're not useful whoa Oh wait, no, I don't want, I don't want those, I don't, I don't. What was that? Something glowing red up there. I'm stuck on this chair! Does that have anything? Nope. 
silver cylinder. Bottom looks like what I found in the sewer. Silver cylinder. I know. Bottom looks like what I found in the sewer. We had any wolf gear options. Oh boy, part four. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, part three. Oh boy. I'm picking up these books because partly. Because I can sell them. And I didn't realize that sometimes you can sell the books for quite a bit of money if you have extras. I suppose I could stash the books I have too. That would actually be a good idea. That'd take a lot of weight off my hands. A letter and a bottle. The wine from your birth year. It's absolutely excellent. Startling bouquet. You absolutely must try it. But afterwards, please place the bottle back where you found it. Huh? Your birth year. Could be dandelions. Or series. Yeah? Hey, if I know. Oh, shoot. Okay, this is, this is the riddle thing. Birth year, birth year, birth year, birth year, birth year. I have no idea. Any other clues? Wow, that looks... Dang it. Oh! Is that, like, in there? Alright. So we're doing this for Siggy, but we're, we're doing it. So we can find Dandelion and Siri. <laughs> Satisfying click in the next room. Oh, I love those freaking greaves! They look so good. Yay, good thing I didn't actually have to solve any riddles. Secret room. Probably where Dandelion and his cohorts planned the heist. This is just, this is just weird. Like, going to this... Instructions on how to build a bomb. Signed by one Kalkstein. Ah! Signed by Kalkstein, we know him. More bomb stuff. Sugar. And lumps of a substance dipped in wyvern oil. Hmm. Potassium? Looks like they made the bomb here. Somebody spilled. Oops. Uh. Wait. Eh. Me. Stain. Wyvern oil. Uh oh. Oh, I like my handle. Siri, Menge is following me. He has seized the treasure. He has dandelion. You must flee. Footsteps. Shh, hide! Hide! Who is Dudu? I don't know Dudu. I don't need that. Okay. Is that everything? Can I go out the window? No. Do I have to? Check what's going on downstairs. Yo! Extra. Tris! Tris! Have a word with hi! Didn't expect to see you here. 
Certainly not with Triss. I decided we could use someone who knows a bit of magic. The runes on the bomb. I'm absolutely dying to know what they mean. You dying to know too, Triss? No, just here for the coin. Ah, Marigold playing the cynical materialist. I love it. In truth, her ideals brought Triss here. She needs gold to save her colleagues. When I recover my treasure, I'll be in a position to help her. Simple as that. Speaking of which, and pardon my bush there was, <laughs> have you found out who fucking nicked my lines. gold? Uh... Hang on. Gotta tell me why you're here first. We agreed. If I learned anything, I'd take it to you. So we did. But I was concerned about you. Stop oh. by to see if everything was alright. <laughs> Thanks. Your eyes are kind of creepy. Thanks. You can breathe easy now. In the future, they'll remember this. I can look after myself. Fine. You look after yourself, and I'll look after my interests. Gentlemen, really feel privileged to witness your battle of wits. But try to remember, unlike you, I put my life at risk every time I venture out into the streets. Did the same just coming here. So I beg you, can we get to the point? Bothered Trace for nothing. No point examining the bomb. Because? Because I already know who nabbed your treasure. Commander of the Temple Guard, Caleb Menger. No! Nah! Wait. Well, well, then. Your coin stands to come with a side of revenge. Geralt, would you be kind enough to tell me what you've learned? I'm terribly curious. Uh... Henkel told me. Old man's alive and well. Faked his own death to escape his creditors. What? Strange. I had no idea he was in debt. He was. And Menga promised to take care of things in exchange for help with the heist. So... Geralt, how can I put this delicately? Bollocks. If you thought I'd fall for that tale you just pulled out of your ass. You I didn't know. I was like, uh... Know you well enough to know what matters. Results. So I lied. Still say I can lead you to your treasure. Forgive me, Geralt. But after what you just pulled, I'd sooner believe a whore who proclaimed her undying Dang it. love. Would you believe a sorceress who stands to gain if you get your coin back? Perhaps. I still prefer the whore, though. <laughs> You're hiding something. And that's one thing I can't stand. Even more than Nilfgaard. But ultimately, this is a business deal, not a marriage. <laughs> Besides, there must be some truth in all those lies. You're too dense to make it all up on your it's own. It's true. Hmm. Menger has been spending heaps of coin lately. Though, to my knowledge, he shouldn't have a copper to his name. So, what now? From what I've heard, Menga spends his nights at the docks, witch hunter's quarters. Maybe pay him a visit. Ask where he's holding my gold for me. Mm -hmm. So we do your dirty work while you sit around twiddling your thumbs. Darling, when I'm able <laughs> to make use of someone, I always do. It's convenient. And safe. Come on. Admit you're scared of Menga. Of course I'm scared, bloody dangerous horse son. Triss would concur, I think. Not in those words. But I do agree with the statement overall. Doubt Menga will admit anything willingly. As do I. Lucky I hired a witcher and a sorceress who've been through so much together to get this done. What's our past got to do with it? A great deal. Lovers will jump into the abyss for one another. Suits my needs perfectly. Namely, it greatly increases your chances of getting out of the hunter's barracks alive. With my treasure. Can we carry it all? Yeah. Uh... In other words, you're using us. Using you? Never. Merely making the most of your mutual bond. <laughs> well, lovebirds, I really must be going. Good luck. Is this Thought awkward? Correct him. Say that oh, we, uh, oops. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, blah. Could have corrected him yourself. True. But it's not an easy thing to say, is it? But we've strayed from our topic. 
Got a treasure to recover. Triss, gotta tell you something. Dijkstra's gold, it's the last thing I care about. Thought as much. This is about Siri, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Menga's got Dandelion locked up somewhere, and Dandelion saw Siri. That changes everything. Listen, meet me at midnight by the Chapel of the Eternal Fire, oh, east man. of the harbor. We'll figure out a way to get into the Hunter's Barracks together. All right, see you then, and thanks.